G'day and welcome back to the garage. In an earlier episode of the RM250 project, the radiators were removed from the bike, never to be returned. And now that the engine is in, the new cooling system can be installed. And that's what we'll do in this episode. Let's get started. Every single part of the cooling system in this project is brand new. All of the hoses, clamps, fittings, and best of all, new old stock radiators. One of these came from the Netherlands, the other from the US, and both were expensive. But I think investing good money in these will really make the project. The originals were destroyed and I just couldn't bring myself to putting Chinese radiators on it. After installing the first clamp, I noticed in the workshop manual that I'd had it the wrong way. And with my OCD running overtime, I thought I'd better fix it. Before installing new rubber mounts, a dip in some soapy water helps with fitting to the radiators.
Out of all the jobs so far in this build, the simple task of fitting these louvers was by far the most frustrating. The combination of stiff new plastic and trying not to bend the fragile new fins of the radiators was an absolute nightmare. Fitting the overflow tube brings me to one of my favourite parts of the workshop manual that shows the cable and hose routes. These drawings really help getting the small details right. And finally, a new radiator cap finishes off the cooling system. Remember a minute ago I mentioned about getting the small details right? Well, if we go back to that drawing in the manual, you can see that I had a small detail wrong. A mistake I'd already made earlier in this episode. Both of the top clamps, they're around the wrong way. With the clamps fixed and my OCD back under control, that's it for the cooling system. Look out for the next episode where the electrical system will be tested and installed. Thanks for watching, see you next time.